Hey, welcome to another edition of Chaos Craft. I don't know what this thing was or how it got here, but which is kind of cinematic. I'm just looking at this. this one panning shot as I lower down onto Adam. But I set this thing to be our spawn point. Uh, so, again, it's the weird thing is that it has in here this, which is like I left that when I first created Adam, like it was like, when I was doing the Adam fight test, I mean, sorry, the Adam fight test. So, my friends. So, I kind of modified this thing that I'm pretty sure someone else is on the server at this point. And I built this little moat about around it so they could fall into the moat safely. But then they would have the spawn area that was somewhat safe. It doesn't get blown all the hell all the time. I don't know if the moat's going to last, but. We're going to find out. So that's cool. In addition to that, I went on, <clears throat> excuse me, over to here, and I verified that we are adding the crafting node because we had no one crafting anything. And then I added in the fitness function. So this is, is that the old one? That's the old fitness function. I'll get rid of that. So right now there's two things that will basically spawn 10 times the amount of children. I guess if they place block, they'll spawn children, roughly six you know, so it's uh, an average. If they attack successfully, they'll spawn children. If they kill something, then they spawn 10 times as many children. And if they craft right now, I got that at 10, but I might bump it down a little bit. Um, so those all cause additional, you know, stuff uh, to happen because I, I want them to do more digging and placing blocks. And so we'll make our fitness functions more sophisticated eventually, but... Let's go in real quick. There's one last thing that I just changed is that I made it so the pass on add seals, there's a seal thing uh, that rounds up basically. So if we're looking at this, let's see if there's anyone. So in the pass down on decay removes floors. So it goes and rounds down basically. So before we were getting some time where it wasn't really adding brain nodes that quickly. And so, because sometimes they had so few nodes, and also I changed these percentages a little bit, I doubled each of them. So we should see some faster, the brain's becoming more complex a little bit faster now, which complexity doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be better. And for those of you guys that don't know, it's the neural nets here. So these are, again, just to review all this, neural nets and genetic learning algorithms, random nodes, like inputs and outputs. These are debugs. This is based on Adam. So some of his original debug nodes are in there, but like when they correlate a talk, uh, an attack plays block, you know, or block at, etc. cetera, um, activate item. So, yeah. So basically it's, you know, if the player collects a certain thing and we can, I should say, is, and the entity is, well, is that player collect? I must've gone over something else. Let's see, player collect, wow, is holding. I have to look into that because that's not right. <laughs> Just found a bug. Is holding player collect? Huh, I'm looking at that. Has equipped, so if they have this equipped, any of those items equipped in their main hand, then it could trigger, you know, one of these other ones. So you see how it kind of works. Has equipped, then they'll walk left, things like that. So it, it, these the complexity of these nodes will increase at a more rapid rate now, which hopefully will have some more complex behaviors. So that said, it's a really short episode. I might even just double it up today. I have two episodes out there. I don't want to distract you guys or put out too much content. If that's such a thing, but, you know, I'm, making, I'm having some fun here. So I'm going to go off and work on Chaos Trainer now. Because I got like an hour and a half. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Check me out on Patreon. Later.